Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today we are looking at a Williams Skylab pinball machine. Check it out. This is another recent pickup. This, like every game, always has a, some kind of a weird story with it. This uh, belonged to a guy who was going through a divorce and apparently his whole state is now being split up into pieces and so he needed to liquidate and uh, this came up and I grabbed it among a couple of other games that I'll go into um, I want to show you something because this is a, not the typical kind of game that I normally come across this game is a, this game he purchased from somebody who had already restored it and uh, I want to show you some of the signs you can see of a game that's been restored um, this is underneath the lockdown bar. This has been spray painted. Still a little bit of rust here. This is probably from the underside of the lockdown bar. I have not vacuumed it or done much. I did clean the play field a little bit. But I'll show you some of the things that I noticed about this game. Um, it's in. It appears to be in really nice condition. Come, let's just take a quick look around the, the side of it. You can see, look how nice that cabinet is. Artwork is all nice and shiny and everything. And the... the um, Back glass looks really good too. <clears throat> so, take a look here. Let's look at the back box. Moving around. Back box is nice and clean. Overall, a really good condition game. I'll show you one of the first things that I noticed with it was this right here. Power cord with paint on it. First sign that, that uh, the game has been restored and the cabinets been repainted is obviously when they worked on these cabinets they didn't they did the cabinets by themselves before they put anything in them so this game has the cabinet has been repainted and the guy didn't even bother getting the cord out of the way when he spray painted it otherwise not necessarily a bad job the game's still in pretty good condition this bottom panel here on these games is particle board and it's notorious for breaking apart I don't know why they made this part out of this crappy wood where the rest of it was plywood but so you can see that it's been spray painted but otherwise in pretty good condition the uh, these steppers here appear to be pretty decent and uh, you can see that the the artwork has been painted too and a lot of these games uh, compare with uh, say an actual vintage game here you can see the black background has has specks in it um, so the original artwork was kind of modeled like that. When you see a game like this where it's just completely white, you know, it's just been, it's been repaired. Um, pretty neat game. Space theme. Very cool. Let's uh, take a closer look at it. I'll open the door here. I have not done a whole lot to this game at all. Um, Inside looks pretty clean too. Uh, since I'm doing this one-handed, I probably am not going to pull the play field up, but um, it's in pretty decent shape. Early Williams single player. They've spray painted the leg silver too. Um, this upper apron has been spray painted blue, I think. But the game looks to be in pretty good condition. It has new rubbers installed. There's a surprisingly little amount of wear on the play field. Uh, I put a couple coats of wax on it and it just sucked it all up. But the inserts are starting to get a little concave but there's no wear around them. So this game has been treated very well. Um, plastics all seem to be pretty good. Um, it's got this center feature here. And this doesn't look like a very uh, complicated play field. It's very wide open. But uh, the way it works is there are these letters K, Y, A, B, uh, S, L. And uh, if, you, if you hit each of these bumpers here, it knocks a letter out. When you, when you hit all the letters, it lights another letter in spacewalk. So this increases, just gives you more and more bonus each time. And then if you move these balls around to one side or another, it gives you some extra rewards too. Um, it's a pretty neat game. Let's uh, let's uh, fire it up and see what we have. 
it obviously it wasn't working when I initially got it but it didn't take much to, to get it working because I think this game was mainly an operational game that just sat sitting for a while. So like most William games when you flip the uh, switch nothing happens until you hit the left um, flipper button and then it comes on then all the lights come on. This is also a good example of the difference between how these back glasses look when they're front lit or back lit. It looked almost perfect before oops looked almost perfect before but now with it backlit you can see the flaking there in the astronaut's suit all those uh, I don't know if it's coming out on video as much as it is here there's clearly lots of flakes all in here missing all in all it's not a horrible back glass it's in pretty good shape um, the flakes are mostly in the astronaut's suit. If you look maybe up near his helmet, you can see see more of them. See you see the little flakes. I'll, I'll scroll down a little bit. And I think you can see them. They actually kind of lend themselves to the uh, image. Yeah, you can see. I think. Uh, the camera compensates and gives it a little bit more exposure in the front of it, but you can see the little flakes and specks here and there. When it's not backlit, all that stuff disappears. Okay, so let's get a little video of the gameplay and just see what we're dealing with, and uh, I'll tell you what I notice while I'm playing. So, start a game. All right. First thing I notice is uh, the ball in play indicator is not lit. Doesn't surprise me if the if the one thing that's going to go out most on these games are going to be any of the stepper units that rotate your bonus relay, your um, ball in play relay, and your player stepper unit because those are the and unlike other things that are switches that just touch each other, those are little relays that often rotate, and so they're greased, and uh, the grease over time hardens. So, flippers are working. Game's not level, obviously. You can see it, see the ball move a little bit. So we hear some of the, ch the chimes sound a little bit anemic. That's probably because uh, the rubber grommet on the chimes has probably melted and decayed. And so the chimes are like partially stuck down and not vibrating a lot. So I just spelled all the letters and it lit the P. And the game ended. Um, it's supposed to be a three or five ball game, but it's just playing one ball games, which indicates to me that the player ball stepper unit, since this is a one player game, most games the player and the ball stepper unit are one unit. This is only a one player game, so it's just basically a ball stepper unit. And it, ca it you know, clicks into one position for ball one, and another position for ball two, three, four. Um, obviously, that, that unit is probably not moving. Uh, so that'll be something that'll need to be taken apart and probably cleaned. That's that's what I suspect why uh, it's not working. Other than that, the game seems to be in pretty good shape. Somebody else probably went through it and refurbished it and got it all working. Um, great theme. Uh, looks like a relatively fun game. Not, su not super deep or complicated, but I don't necessarily think this game is um, necessarily too easy um, but nothing that's going to rock anybody's world but this is one of those games that if you're into space themed stuff you know you're really going to love it I mean and, and there's there's not a whole lot of this and this is a historic game you know the space station Skylab which used to be up there in orbit which eventually fell out of orbit but um, pretty neat game that somebody did a relatively decent job restoring and uh 
I'll continue the work on it trying to get it up to speed and uh, report more on it when I get a chance. So there's a first look of a Williams Skylab from the 1970s, a classic 70s electromechanical single player Williams game. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, for more visit pinballhelp.com.